What happens if you cross a lion and a jaguar? What does a brown polar bear look like? And how easy is it to put together a dolphin and an orca? The answers to this and more you'll find out very soon. In this episode, you'll see 11 world's rarest hybrid animals that will impress you. Let's go! Jag Lion I present to you one of the rarest and beautiful hybrid animal species. The Jag Lion It's a cross between a male jaguar and a lioness. If you encounter a Jag Lion, you're probably wondering, who am I looking at? A jaguar or a lion? The Jag Lion is mostly black in color. Some people may think that Jag Lions are not as majestic as lions or jaguars, but that's because they just haven't seen them in real life. Jag lions are only documented in captivity and are not found in the wild. Two jag lions, Jazara and Tsunami, were born in 2006 in a Canadian wildlife refuge. Tsunami looks like a spotted lion, and Jazara is black due to the inheritance of the dominant jaguar gene. We keep the lioness but swap the male jaguar for the male leopard. What kind of hybrid is that? Five points if your answer is Leopon. This unusual animal with its piercing gaze is not so much a product of great love as a creation of human imagination. Leopons are larger than leopards, but smaller than lions. Leopon behavior is closer to that of leopards than that of lions, but they can have manes which are about 20 centimeters long. Two Leopons were first born in India in 1910. It was a real sensation in the scientific world. A couple of years later, other zoos around the world, particularly in Italy and Germany, decided on similar experiments. However, Leopons died there at a very young age. The greatest success was achieved in the Japanese National Park on Honshu Island. Five kittens were born there in different years. The last leopard died there in 1985. Since then, the interbreeding of male leopards with lionesses has been finished. Liger And a little more about big cats. Perhaps that's the most desirable hybrid of all. Some of the largest representatives of the felines, which habitats do not overlap, are combined. The Liger is, as is already becoming clear, a hybrid between the lion and the tigress. In general, this animal is a giant lion without a mane, but with fuzzy stripes on its body. On average, a Liger weighs up to 300 to 370 kilograms and can reach up to 4 meters in length and up to 2 meters in height. This huge cat is almost twice the size of a lion. What's the reason for such size? The fact is that in wild, tigers and lions, the father's genes transmit the ability to grow and gain weight to the offspring, while the mother's genes determine when growth should stop. Tigresses have weaker growth-controlling genes which is why the size of the hybrid offspring is not particularly limited. By the way, the largest liger to date is Hercules. Kai Dog A Kai Dog is a hybrid between a male coyote and a dog. Externally, Kai Dogs are a combination between a domestic dog and a wild coyote and may look either like a dog or a coyote, or they have the physical trait of both species. The interbreeding of dog and coyote was first mentioned as far back as Canadian scientists. Modern research has established that wild coyotes, on average, are genetically 90% coyote, 7.5% dog, and 2.5% wolf gene carriers. There's a trait by which you can accurately distinguish a coyote from a dog. In case of danger, they keep their mouth wide open and hiss like cats. And this, as we know, is not done by dogs, wolves, or other hybrids. Goat and Sheep Hybrid The super rare hybrid between goat and ram, or sheep, is also known as a shoat or a geep. Although these two species have much in common and coexist on the same farms, they are, in fact, genetically incompatible. The reason is the difference in the genetic code. Rams have 54 chromosomes while goats have 60. So if a healthy geep is born, it can't help but surprise. In August 2014, for example, 
one Irish farmer announced the birth of a geep. The little geep was so novel that the farmer called a television station to document the remarkable moment. The scene turned out to be a cute one as the mother sheep cared for the cub, which was very different from the others. The cub had stiff, lamb-like hair, long, goat-like legs, and horns. Similar hybrids have also been observed in Germany, the USA, New Zealand, France, Chile, Ireland, Malta, Jamaica, and Russia. The female born in New Zealand also had 57 chromosomes. In France, a shoat was able to bear offspring from a ram, with one fetus dying and the other being a male with 54 chromosomes. Growler Bear Can a hybrid between a polar bear and a brown bear exist in nature? It seems not because these species live in different environments. Polar bears breed and hunt among the eternal ice, while their brown congeners take up forests and forest tundra. Accordingly, it can be summed up that in nature they try to avoid each other. However, observations have revealed at least eight cases of hybridization in the natural environment. The first hybrid bear to appear in the wild without human involvement was recorded in 2006. In captivity, the hybrid between a polar bear and a brown bear has been officially known since the late 19th century. Since 1874, hybrid babies have been born several times in the zoo in Halle, Germany. Hybrids are physically intermediate between brown and polar bears. Their bodies are smaller than those of the white parents, but larger than those of the brown parents. As for behavior, it's more similar to that of polar bears than grizzly bears. Zebroid A zebroid is a rare hybrid between a zebra and a horse, pony, or donkey. Scientists first dared to experiment in 1815. They crossed the Arabian horse with Quagga the zebra, which incidentally is now considered extinct. As a result of this experience, a very cute striped foal was born. However, outwardly it looked more like an Arabian horse than a zebra. Today there are several varieties of zebroids. For example, foals born of a zebra and a horse are called zorses. A zoni is the product of a cross between a zebra and a pony. Guess what they call the male zebra and the female donkey hybrid? I'll give you a hint, it's Zenki. In appearance, zebroids resemble their mother. So tall and stately horses, like a horse, Zonies look like mama ponies and differ in small stature and cute appearance. Zankies have long donkey ears and distinctive physique. However, to all of you, this must also add paternal stripes, which usually appear on the legs or partially on the neck and torso. Zebroids are the golden mean between the wild, hardy zebra and the large, docile horse. They're common in Southeast Africa, where they show good performance. Camma. A camma is a hybrid between a female llama and a male dromedary camel. The first hybrid was born on January 14, 1998. The resulting animal has short ears and a long camel's tail, as well as strong legs with split hooves. A hybrid of a llama and a camel is characterized by sufficient endurance. Unfortunately, it's difficult to test these animals in business because since 1998, there have only been six successful cases of obtaining a camel. Blood Parrot Chichlid No, you'll not see a real parrot here. I'm talking about a creature that lives in water, or rather, in an aquarium. Fish with such an interesting name is artificially bred and does not occur in nature. This beautiful fish got its parrot name because of the bright coloring of its body and the unusual shape of its head, which is very similar to a parrot's beak. Nevertheless, it's the source of a number of disputes. The fact is that the blood parrot chichlid has very small mouth. It does not close completely, and often from the side it looks like a wide smile. The mouth can only open vertically at a small angle. So how does one eat normally? This is quite a serious problem for any creature that needs to take food to grow and produce energy. How can the fish fully exist? Moreover, the blood parrot chichlet has a curved spine and the iris of its eyes is large. The unusual body shape and anatomical changes in the internal organs, including the swim bladder, causes these fish to swim clumsily. That's all, guys. 
Which animals would you personally like to cross? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you later.